Question is from Travis Craft 24. You often mention cardio adaptation. Does our body get too efficient at basic human movements such as walking as well? Okay, so I want to be really clear. I had this conversation with my, in fact, it was the day we went uh, wine tasting, like I talked about at the beginning of the episode. My cousin Alex was there. Really, really smart kid, super successful uh, in the tech world. And I love talking with him because he'll ask me questions about fitness and nutrition that are, um, they're, they're just really good questions. They're, they're, they're good questions to be asked. So he says, you know, I listen to your podcast and you talk about how doing lots and lots and lots of cardio and cutting my calories um, slows my metabolism down. He goes, why, he goes, why is that a bad thing? And I said, it's, it's not. It's not a bad thing that your metabolism adapts. I said, it's just, it can be a bad thing in the context of uh, normal life where you have access to tons of food all around you and you're not that active. And so having a faster metabolism is just makes it easier for you to maintain a healthy body weight in this environment. But said other than that, it's not a problem. So this cardio adaptation, uh, and so here, let me explain real quick what cardio adaptation is. It's when you do a lot of anything, your body gets good at it. And part of what it does to get good at it is it burns less calories doing it. Hmm. So if you took, for example, two top athletes, one was a uh, top level runner, like one of the best marathon runners in the world, incredible endurance. The other one was a marathon swimmer and was the best in the world. So both exceptional cardio, exceptional endurance, phenomenal performance. And you tested their caloric burn when they did the sport that they're good in. And then you switch them. You had the runner swim and you had the swimmer run. Yeah. What you would find is they would actually burn more calories doing the thing that they weren't that they weren't used to or that they weren't good at because their bodies weren't as efficient doing it. So doing lots of and that's that's one piece of it. There's more than that as well because cardio burns lots of calories, doesn't require lots of strength. One of the ways your body becomes better at it is by paring muscle down and making you just this smaller, less muscle, less calorie burning, efficient machine. Not a bad thing. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you want a faster metabolism, it's going opposite direction, right? So does the body get too efficient at basic human movements? What do you mean by too efficient? Uh, right. There's no such thing. Um, more efficiency is probably better. If you walk a lot, is that going to slow your metabolism down compared to what? Let's say you walk you know, seven miles every day because you're a-, a Yeah, versus a, what, sitting down? Exactly. So you walk seven miles a day because you're a mail carrier. So now your body became very efficient at, at walking. Uh, compare that to sitting all day, you're better off. You're far better off. Now compare that to lifting weights, you're going to, over time, burn more calories lifting weights uh, just through a faster metabolism uh, type of deal. Or at least I should say, maybe not burn more total calories, but burn more calories at rest- uh, because you have a fast metabolism. So I want to be clear because we talk about this all the time and I don't want to send the message that the natural metabolic adaptations that happen from doing certain activities or- It's a bad thing. It's not a, it's bad, it's not a bad thing. It's your, it's your metabolism's acting exactly uh, the way it should. 